Welcome to episode number 102, How to Draw a Sunflower. So for this lesson, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, um, markers, pens if you'd like, also crayons or watercolor paint will do, but obviously um, because it's a colorful painting, pretty much anything that you can create color with will be fine. Um, and you might want a straight edge as well if you'd like um, if you're using this as a, a math um, and running to meet some of the ELA standards are for um, art lessons, then a straight edge or um, a ruler will also um, be a part of your um, project. All right, here we go. Step one, draw a circle. You might find that some students are very nervous about drawing a circle. If you find that some of your students in the past you've noticed that this is one of their hesitations, you might want to cut out a couple of um, circles um, that you've created and then they can use that uh, as well. Step two, draw four petals facing north, south, east, and west. What I like to do when I'm talking with my students is I like to give them a visual. So I'll show them what I've done and I will say, what does this look like to you? And then usually they'll come up with different ideas like leaves or a wing of a bird. And then I'll say, okay, draw that shape that you see onto your paper. Step three, draw four more shapes uh, in the middle of the four shapes that you just drew. Step four, draw the seedlings in the middle of the sunflower and then draw the stem going directly below that, that petal that you drew going south. Step five, add petals in between the petals so that your sunflower looks nice and full and then add lines in the middle of each of the petals. Step six, draw a line with your straight edge to represent a fence that we're going to draw and then draw full petals that we're going to use to represent the leaves. Put a little detail in the middle to represent the veins. The final step before we start coloring in our creation is to use your straight edge and make lines uh, vertically along uh, the line that we created for the top of the fence. If you want to be even more um, detailed with your fence, you could also put little um, triangles above to make it look more like a picket fence. That's totally up to you. And now fill it with color. Traditionally, the sunflower is made with yellows and oranges. And depending on what your assignment is, whether it needs to be accurate or not, I many times will invite children to paint it however they like. 